Good morning everyone. I'm Solochana Shrestha, student in the Department of Mechanical Engineering in University of Akron, Ohio. And today I'm gonna talk about influence of foreign object damage and the high cycle fatigue properties of direct energy deposition repair type 64. Uh, the foreign object damage for it is considered to be one factor that can lead to premature fatigue crack initiation and growth. Fought from bird strikes and hard body impacts such as stones striking primarily the turbine engine fan blades when ingested with the airflow can result in immediate blade fracture or can cause microstructural damage, stress raising notches, even cracks that leads to early initiation of fatigue cracks. So the damage tolerance method based on the fatigue crack threshold that reflects the HCF conditions of high frequencies, small crack size and high stress level should, should be adopted for the design for critical components. Here we are trying to focus on the FOD impact on the high cycle properties of the DY repair type 64 and also study the fatigue crack threshold for crack propagation from the impact induced micro crack. The material referred to as conventional material comes from commercial rod anil type 64 sheets. The AM repaired coupons were built onto the substrate blanks into straight side coupons that were heat treated and surface finish and machined into dog bone geometry for testing. The foreign object damage was simulated by firing 1.58 mm diameter chrome hardened steel spheres onto the flat specimens at angle of 90 degree and velocity 3 m 50 m per second using a compressed cask on facility. After the impact, the specimen was subjected to cyclic loading 2 Hz at load ratio 0 0.1 at various mean stresses. So the SAM images of impact site shows increased damage due to FOD during the impact on the AM repaired coupon compared to the conventional TIE-64 in terms of material pileup around the crater rim. So uh, the fatigue properties in terms of SN curve is shown here in figure 2. Here the results show a severe reduction in the fatigue lives by over 2 order of magnitude by FOD in comparison with the smooth bar specimens for both the conventional TIE-64 and the DED wire TIE-64. Talking about FOD induced crack initiation, the crack nucleation mechanism results from the interplay of stress concentration, the presence of micro cracking and residual stress. The crater rim and base of the FOD indents are region of high stress concentration. Also the FOD induced micro cracking in the pileup region of the impact crater rim, the highly deformed microstructure, the cracks at the base of the intent side due to high stress concentration are all contributing factors. If you talk about the conventional TIE-64, uh, the figure 3, the scanning electron micrographs of impact damage site is shown here. The impact created a fatal crack at the base of the indent side as shown in figure 3b that created high stress concentration. The fracture surface shows the crack initiation at the impact site that propagated until the failure. However, for the AM repair TIE-64, there were other factors found to influence the crack initiation during high cycle fatigue after impact. The table 1 summarizes the impact location, the fatigue life after impact, the failure location for the tested AM DED wire specimens, and the respective fracture surface images uh, by SEM is given in the following slides. Here we can see the processing defects such as porosity having a marked effect in the HCF of the specimens that were impacted. For uh, the LHCF 49 and 64, here we saw the crack originated from the pore that caused failure and not the crack initiation from the impact site. And for LHCF 31 and 47, crack initiation from the impact site was seen. So concluding the FOD in TIE 6 for sample, induced preferred size for the premature initiation of a D cracks and subsequent cycling. The increased damage seen in the AM repaired specimens is compared to the conventional TIE 6 in terms of material pileup at the crater rim of the impact site. As a result, the fatigue life was markedly reduced. Uh, for the AM repaired specimens, the defects during the processing was found to be more detrimental to the fatigue life as compared to the damage FOD had on the sample. For the future works, fatigue crack growth test is done, uh, should be done to calculate the threshold for the crack propagation from the impact induced micro crack. The Kitagawa Takahashi approach to determine the critical condition for the HCF in presence of microstructurally small cracks. Thank you.